Michael, it is now time for my favorite portion of the game show. And as I always say when I have an accomplished game show host on the line with me, it's always more special when that is the case because I get to practice my game show hosting skills with a true television professional. It is time for the game of the day. Game of the day. Now, I did say this was a match game theme game, so I wanted to title the game in the style of the previous incarnations of the show. So back in 1975 and running until 1981, there was a weekly syndicated nighttime version of Match Game appropriately titled Match Game PM. Well, since we're on the radio right now and WREQ is on the FM dial, I thought it would be cute and clever on my part to name today's game of the day Match Game FM. So that's what I did. Michael, get ready to fill in some blanks because you're going to play Match Game FM. Match Game FM. And here's how the game works. All the questions used during Match Game FM will be actual questions from Match Game 98. And you'll have two rounds to score a total of five matches to win. Now, during both rounds, I'll give you the choice of two categories, each of which corresponds with a question. After choosing your category, I'll read the question. And like every Match Game fan knows, your job is to fill in the blank with an answer you think will match the most celebrities. Now, after giving your response, I'll reveal what the celebrities filling in that blank 20 years ago said. And for every match, you'll score a point. And once again, you need five matches or five points to win the game. So those are all the rules. Michael, are you ready to play a little role reversal and become a match game contestant? Let's do it. Well, I'm going to channel my inner Johnny Olsen as I say... Get ready to match the stars as we play the star-studded No Money Match Game FM. And now, here's the star of Match Game FM, Bradley Clark. For game show continuity, I just had to complete that intro, so I hope you didn't mind. <laughs> Alright, let's begin with round one. Now remember, the goal is to get to five points by the end of the second round, and here are your first two categories you get to choose from, Michael. Sports in your shorts, or suit yourself, and that's suture, S-U-T-U-R-E. <laughs> suit yourself. Suit yourself it is, and the celebrities are Vicky Lawrence, Christoph St. John, Judy Tenuta, oh, Nell Carter, and your favorite, George Hamilton. Let's do it. All right, here comes the question. Keith said, boy, did I go to a cheap hospital. Not only did I have to share my room with three other people... I had to share my blank. <laughs> Keith said, boy, did I go to a cheap hospital. Not only did I have to share my room with three other people, I had to share my blank. All right, Michael, what do you say? What did Keith have to share in this cheap hospital? It's between bedpan and catheter. I bet catheter's too difficult of a word. I'll say bedpan. You're going to say bedpan. All right. Vicki Lawrence said, bedpan, you got a point. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And next we have Christoph St. John, who also said bedpan. You have two matches, and you're going to sweep the top line because Judy Tenuta said bedpan as well. You have three wow. points. Unfortunately, Nell Carter said stitches. Idiot. Go ahead. And George Hamilton said operation, so no match with him. Okay, that's funny. Excellent first round, Michael. You have three points. I'm not happy about playing for a lousy 5000 bucks, but go ahead. <laughs> it's time for round two. And here are your two categories to choose from. Furby's a jolly good fellow, or you twin some, you lose some. Twin some, lose some. You twin some, you lose some. Sounds like a good choice to me. Remember, you only need two more matches to win. And let's see. Vicky Lawrence, John Sally, Judy Tenuta, Nell Carter, and Bobby Collins are the ones you're trying to match. Oh, gosh. Very funny comic, Bobby. Indeed he is. And here comes the question. Siamese twins, Ted and Ed, are really amazing. How amazing are they? One eats, and the other blanks. Oh, gosh. Siamese twins Ted and Ed are really amazing. One eats, and the other blanks. All right, Michael, what do you say? When Ted eats, what does Ed do? Well, so I'll say poops. You're going to say poops. Very good. I think you might have just found the definitive answer. By the way, what kind of show am I creating here? Poops and bedpans? I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> it is match game. That's right. It's match game 98, yes. All right, let's see. Vicky Lawrence said 
Poops, that takes you to four points. You need one more to win. Please make it happen. John Sally said, oh, John Sally didn't say poop. He said poo poo. So you got it. Oh, we got it. That's a match. We went to the judges. Thumbs are up. Doggone it. Let's get me back on the air. Come on now. And by the way, Judy Tanuna and Nell Carter both said poop. Bobby Collins said sleep. Well, I apologize for everybody listening. Those questions should have been much better written back in the day. But like I said, I just showed up in a nice suit. <laughs> but congratulations. You won Match Game FM. This was great. Well, I'm so glad you enjoyed playing that game. I had so much fun hosting it for you. And that was the game of the day. Match Game FM. Match Game FM. FM.